Good day. This is P Delta coming to you with When Cats Break the Rules of Nature. You can't lie to me. I know that you know who Casual Geographic is because everybody does. And I know that you love him because everybody does. So, of course, I'm going to jump on this. It's six days old, but, you know, we're just going to pretend this not. <laughs> hey. All I know is that when cats break the rules of nature, things have to get messy or very adorable. So we're gonna see which one today. So if you guys are ready, then spuds up. Let's rock. Mm, what's the best? I guess this is good. You know what, I'm just gonna stay down here. I'm comfortable down here. Booyah. Boo. Rickin, yeah. Aww. <laughs> don't be suspicious. I love how all these little animals are just playing with the cats and they're like, Sometimes all Hello. it takes is one picture going viral to completely shatter everything we thought we knew about the world. This is one of those pictures. So the story goes, Aww. a mother tiger in California tragically lost her cubs to premature and labor, and the loss left her so depressed that she would barely move and wouldn't eat at all. Worried for her well-being, zookeepers took five baby pigs, wrapped them in tiger skin, and like only a true <laughs> mother would, the tiger adopted them all. Yep. She would nurse them, eat and sleep with them, and refuse to let them out of her sight. It was your typical Disney feel-good story that warmed the hearts of anyone who saw it. Now, here's where you have a choice. I can let you keep believing that story and just leave you with the happy ending. In which case, you should probably click off this video. She ate water, them, didn't she? Of course All she did. Stuff we'll They're delicious. Next. For the rest They're of y'all going red pill, just them. remember, you chose this. So this picture is 100% real. No Photoshop, no filter. Yep. And then this she happened. Ate them. The story I just told you behind it was completely made up. Oh. First of all, this wasn't even taken in California. It was 8,000 miles away in one of the biggest tiger hubs in the world. Ooh. The Sriracha Zoo in Pattaya, Thailand. This isn't a wholesome story about a tiger taking the role of swine surrogate. It's actually one of the most unhinged experiments you've never heard of. You see, this zoo wanted to know if they could successfully rewire the nature of a tiger. They, they did that by having babies. one be raised by a pig. Yeah, they basically decided to play God with a giga-sized Garfield. I mean, this was back in 2004. Oh. But it was also 11 years after Jurassic Park. Someone should have known better. So the Sriracha Zoo had a mother pig raise a litter of tiger cubs. The tiger in the viral picture was two-year-old Sai Mai, and she was actually brought up and nursed by a pig until she was four months old. Oh. The whole point was to see if being raised by a pork product could make an apex predator less of a life risk and more docile. And from the pictures and videos, it would seem like it worked. Yeah. Until it didn't. It would take years, but eventually several claims would come out. You know, claims of animal mistreatment, exploitation, and straight up a it what? ended up being one of those places guys would go to to take a selfie with a tiger to put on Tinder. Huh. And I genuinely hope that was the only cat any of y'all ever saw. The zoo also had a bunch of hands-on stuff you could do with tigers, which is probably the biggest red flag. <laughs> the it, same strike delete button that can solo a walking bicep. Also Whoa. sit still for a stranger's selfie. Start looking left, because sh** ain't right. So to make a long story short, if Tiger King would have came out in 2004, Joe Exotic would have been Bangkoking in Thailand. There was even Dang. an incident where 23 tigers flatlined a bird flu after being fed raw contaminated chicken. Oh, and then there's no. also the fact that one of the zoo owners, Samay Tham Siripong, was charged with breeding tigers without a license. It took a worldwide pandemic to do it, but eventually the zoo closed its this... doors July 13th, 2021. Good. Whatever happened to Simon Thank God. and foster pigs? Well, 16 years after this picture Delicious. was taken, another video would go viral. Only this time, it was a now 19-year-old Simai pouncing on one of the piglets and not in a cute playing type of way. The only thing stopping Wilbur from becoming the end of Charlotte's Web was a zookeeper distracting the tiger before a bunch of small children found out where bacon comes from. That video mm -hmm. wasn't exactly the nail in the coffin, it was more like the shovel that started the digging. But that video also proved is that you can't change nature, no matter how many sequels this franchise gets. <laughs> like take this video for That's example, funny. where this polar bear went viral for seemingly petting a husky in Canada. The biggest meat eater in the world on legs, and even he can't help himself. Adorable, right? The part that didn't go viral was immediately after when the polar yum, bear proceeded to send the dog to dog backwards by attacking and eating it. Delicious. All while the dog was chained up and couldn't even run. Hey, remember, you chose the red pill. The point is, there are rules in nature, and every time we cosplay as creator and break them means one less dog, one confused tiger, and a bunch of pigs that are going to have one hell of an identity crisis. Mm -hmm. But sometimes nature breaks rules all on its own, and all it leaves us with 
or questions. Kamunyak was a lioness living in the Samburu Reserve in Kenya, who had become famous worldwide in 2002 for violating the number one rule of being a lion. The lioness was huh? seen with a young, as in not older than a week old, oryx calf. Oh. She didn't turn the calf into calories. Instead, she acted as his bodyguard following it around everywhere, and even defending it from other animals attempting to meal prep it. Aww. The lioness had adopted something that any other day would have just been protein. And this time, humans had nothing to do That's with it. That's cute. Tourists would flock in like from all that. over to witness this disrespect to the natural order. And even after seeing it with their own eyes, they still didn't believe it. Kamunyak only confused rangers the more they watched her. At one point, she squared up with a group of cheetahs for looking at the oryx calf the wrong way. She would literally <laughs> starve herself for the calf's sake. She couldn't go out and hunt for herself since the little oryx calf would just wander around aimlessly instead of staying hidden in one place the way an actual lion cub would. So mm -hmm. for the more than two weeks these two were together, she just didn't eat. I can only imagine what the other lines thought. Aww. This was basically like a man walking into an orphanage and then leaving with a Big Mac and a stroller. Like that time SpongeBob had an entire relationship <laughs> arc with something he grills for a living. It's just he one of those things like eating. Mandy smiling or EDP foster momming a cupcake and not eating it. It just breaks the natural order. One day, Kamunyak and her little calf went to get water, and in the short amount of time her back was turned, a male lion appeared and gave her a live demonstration of what a lion actually is. No. So yeah, no more baby. And the lioness that had nearly starved herself to death for it acted like any mother would after losing a cub of her own. And the rangers watching it all go down had no way of explaining it. Now, the baby oryx calf being chill with its number one op in the first place actually isn't that crazy. There's a good chance it was probably just... I'm sorry, but that is, that is awful. That's such an awful, that is such an awful end to the story. Some, some random lion came out and started stalking these two just to get a chance to eat that little, that little thing. He could have chosen anything else. He could have eaten a cheetah. He could have eaten an oryx or a bigger oryx. But no, it had to be that calf. Just a little baby. You're not even going to get any meat off of it. What was the point? Okay. It's just disrespect, man. That's it's friggin' messed up. Screw that. Screw that lion specifically. Just too young to even know what fear was. Like when a baby wildebeest was filmed playing with a hyena cub as if his family reunion wouldn't dissect and eat him alive. Exactly. That is until its mother pulled up and bro remembered who he was and dipped. But a predator playing parent to prey is where rules get broken. It's something mm. you'd expect from Disney. And like in Disney, it probably started from a family member getting murked. Kamunyak apparently had cubs of her own, and a oh. violent dispute in the pride meant she lost it, likely to a new rival male. And with as young as she was, this was likely her first litter. And after losing them so brutally and hormones still running high, she probably didn't know what else to do. So it's possible <laughs> that the calf imprinting on the lioness caused a motherly instinct to override the turn you into take out and smoke you like a Marlboro instinct. Exactly. At least that's just my guess, because no one thought to ask the lioness what was going through her head. And this might have been <laughs> her first time, but this wouldn't be her only. This would happen not once, not twice, not even a hat trick. But Kamunyak the lioness would adopt six different oryx calves. Also, I feel like I should just mention at this point, she was going out of her way to follow her just so she could steal any unattended minors. And oh. it wasn't like she just didn't realize that these weren't lions. Kidnapping? Oftentimes, she would let the newborn calf nurse from its actual mother before running her off. And in case you're curious about what happened to the rest of her foster kids, the second one was intercepted by Park <laughs> Rangers. Into an okay, Rangers. okay, I gotta pause again. I can only imagine that. It's like these lions, this lion is communicating with her. Hey, hey, you, you specifically, you better not run away. You better not run away. Let that baby drink from your nipple. Yeah, yeah, let it, let it drink. The, get that. Mm. Let it get that. All right, now get the heck out of here. <laughs> Exactly. Third Absolutely. calf actually returned to its mother. During a nursing session, pieced out with the rest of its herd, even with Kamunyak chasing after them to get her baby back. Makes Same sense. thing happened with the fourth, with the mother Oryx managing to reunite with her baby. Makes I sense. can only imagine this made her learn her lesson in the worst way possible because she didn't let the fifth calf return to its mother. And the end game was the calf going into a permacoma due to starvation, which Kamunyak would respond to by eating the soul evacuated oh. body. And adoption number six went oh. like three and four, with the kidnapped calf hightailing it back to his bio mom. And remember, yeah. she would go on a hunger strike for the entire time she was looking after each one. And I'd love to tell you that this story ends with Kamunyak finally getting an actual family no, of her she own. died. Except she was last sighted in 2004, and no one's been able to find her since. So if this was a movie, it'd be Lion King's troubled teenage cousin. Mm. It's not the only time this kind of thing would happen. In 2015, a film crew was focused on a herd of wildebeest, along with one lioness stalking them from the grasses. <laughs> Fun fact, lions will often spawn wipe their prey by attacking the ones that have just given birth. So when the lioness made her move and the mother wildebeest dipped, it looked Ooh. like it was about to be a revolving door for the baby right back to the gulag. Except that's not what happened. She just they took it. Predator hesitated on what would have probably been her easiest meal in months. 
and the literal minutes old wildebeest started nuzzling up to the huge cat. Aww. As if the same line that wasn't finna take him off this world was the one that brought him in. And I don't know if it was that famous new baby smell or if the fetus not showing any fear factory reset the line software, but not only did she spare him, after a little while she left and the still wet from the womb wildebeest cat reunited with its mother. Okay. And unlike with Kamunyak, this lioness was 100% trying to catch a body, but something made her stop and I have no idea why. Ooh, that's At least a with baby. the calf, it's probably too young to know to run away. It Can't just saw it. the lion as a warm body. But she an just animal deciding to pretty much pardon something it's eaten hundreds of in its life is something science can't 100% explain. And before y'all say she must have felt bad for the baby, there's literally videos on YouTube of lions life depriving pregnant animals, pulling the fetus out and eating both alive. Or I guess technically only one of them's alive. Yeah, I guess there is a chance a lion that's trying to use the baby as bait to mark its bigger, more fulfilling it's mother. Still some fetus, articles think it's baby. their version of playing with their food, like a cat and mouse kind of thing. But like that still doesn't explain how a cat that can eat 15 pounds of meat a day would lose interest in free calories that fast. And the stories just keep coming. In fact, just last year, a lioness was caught on camera looking like it was escorting a baby wildebeest cat back to its herd with the little guy following him the way he would with his bio mom. Her. So I don't know. Okay. Maybe when a lioness loses her cubs, the motherly instinct like, is so strong she'll project it on anything. Man, or maybe lions are realizing that chasing and catching their groceries is too much work, and now they're trying the factory farming strat. But a lion treating food like family wasn't huh. the only time a major rule of cat culture was broken. Like, mm -hmm. I want you to take a good look at this picture. This might look like nothing special, but let me it's give a, you some background. Is that a, a lion's main goal in life is to pass down his genes as much as possible to keep his bloodline alive. The catch is, whenever a rival male or males take over a pride, the first thing they do is commit severely late-term abortions on any offspring that aren't theirs. Yep. Scar actively tried to put Simba on a t-shirt was scientifically accurate. Although if it was 100%, he would have wiped out Nala too. Yep. <laughs> Bruh. Nala, Nala, Nala. You know, you really have no choice. One way or another, I always get what I want. Mm -hmm. Yikes. But yeah, mm -hmm. long story short, a new stepfather usually means caskets for any remaining cubs. Which is exactly what this male did. After he cheeks. and another male took over a pride, he proceeded to give every cub a welcoming gift of a pair of wings and a halo. Every cub, except for that one. Aww. That's not his kid, and he knows it. Not only was he seen sparing op DNA, he was even photographed playing with the cub. Also, yeah. a moment of silence for his actual dad. Man's just nearly lost his entire gene pool and got all his women snatched from him just to have his own chromosomes cuddling with the lion that did it. And I just know we'll watch it from the gulag like, ain't no way. Now, new males don't always go kissing. Hey, yo, hold on, hold Sometimes on. Sometimes lionesses are able <laughs> hold to- Hold on, I gotta see man. that again. Now, new that did it. And I just know bro watch it from the gulag like, ain't no his woman, children, entire way of life after getting put out by a random stranger. And he took his kid from him, too. The disrespect. Way. Now, new males don't always go Casey Anthony on the children. Sometimes lionesses are able to fend off the newcomers. And sometimes the lions don't even bother with cubs that are nine months or older, i.e. cubs past the nursing phase. But, like, that's the thing. That cub is definitely young enough to get turned into a rug. And mm -hmm. being cute with someone else's kid goes against basically everything we thought we knew about them. And it's not just lions defying nature. Male tigers usually want no parts in raising children. They might protect them, but that's it. Especially since tigers are solitary animals that have enough of a full-time job looking after themselves. But mm. there was at least one tiger that broke this rule, and his name was P243. You see, our boy P243 had a mate, and that was P213-32. What kind of name I, is that? I didn't come up with the names. The two were together for over two years, and 243 was never seen with another tigress because we love a faithful king. When mm -hmm. his mate suddenly died, and it clearly had an effect on him. Aww. He spent hours sitting at the place his mate of many years past, and when the tigress was cremated, P243 was on a scene less than an hour later. She didn't just leave him behind, but also four cubs. Aww. Normally losing a mother that young means the orphans would soon get to go see her, but P243 did what we've rarely seen a male tiger. He took him on. Really any male big He, he adopted them. Do. He stepped up. After As that, P243 would often make kills, but leave the food behind for the four cubs who were too young to hunt for themselves. One time, the father caught a full-grown cow and left it behind without taking any for himself. And whenever the forest department would see the four cubs, the father would never be too far away. Obviously, there was a mystery as to why he did this. I mean, there were his kids. But it also yeah. managed to break what we thought were the rules of being a male tiger. Because as dark and messed up as it sounds, it would actually make more sense to just cut losses and try again with another female. Mm. Instead of taking the time to raise kids that might not make it in the end when you really could just make more. Especially since 10 days after his mate died, trackers found him near another female. But the relationship didn't go anywhere and the two weren't seen together again. Mm. Meanwhile, 243 continued looking after his cubs. As there were even he a few should that the tiger had started teaching his cubs how to hunt. Now, there is no way of knowing for sure the cubs make it after all that, but according to the latest update I could find, all four Ooh. cubs are still alive, healthy, and active. Hey. Which would be great numbers, even if... Man, we do love a faithful king who raised his children right.
No, you better not disrespect no single fathers out here. Single mothers are amazing. If they want to be, some of them are less than that. Mine was amazing, obviously. But single fathers, props, props were stepping up. Heck yeah. If they had a mother, but going four for four even after getting bambied, well, that's not supposed to happen. At this point, every breath they take is overachieving. And you can thank Mr. 243 for that. But yeah, that's going to do it. Let's for this go. Video. Be sure to check out my TikTok and Instagram for more consistent uploads in between videos. And if you'd like to support this channel beyond subscribing, my Patreon is also going to be in the description. But as always, it's only if you have like extra money you're not going to miss. Don't give anything. Two, you three, four, three, you're watching three, this video two, six, all the way four, through three. and allowing me to do this for a living is already much appreciated. All in all, make sure you drink water, hug your mother, tell your father you appreciate him. If you ever see something like this on Tinder, beg his pardon, hit him with a left leg hard, and I'll see y'all in the next Aww, one. Aw, look at him. That's pardon, so and I'll see y'all. Look at him. He's chewing on a step. <laughs> chewing on some rock. Cute little thing. Hey, man. 4-3 killed that crap. Look at that. Classic cats. Rules are made to be broken. Tiger story is sweet. Man loses his love, his love of his life and can't abandon the kids. So he breaks convention and raises them. Clip at the end with the Cubs in, imitating the male lion's roar with the most adorable. And then the next one. one. I cannot believe I almost missed that. <laughs> P243 is not the only male tiger. T25, also called Salim, was another one. Okay, I like this, especially the grueling parts. There, I don't think there's an animal meant to be more OP than the cat. Nah, that's fair. That's fair. Dog polar bear wasn't immediately after. Oh no, it was a while after the after the dude stopped leaving food out. Oh. Oh, he he was leaving food out for the bears, and and he stopped leaving food out for the bears, so they ate his dog. Like when he was not hungry, he's like, "Hey, this is my boy. We good." But when he was hungry, then things switched up. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Just like B stars. When, when we're not hungry, hey, it's we're all friends. But when we are hungry, somebody's going to die. You're going to be put on a T-shirt. We're going to smoke that pack. You are going to be a statistic. Something on the news. I, it's just how it is. All right, all right, all right. Let me stop. Hey. My friends, I thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. I sure did. Let's see I like I like positive stories of anything breaking the status quo and succeeding exp expeditiously at it. Humans, cats, ducks, bears, cows, doesn't even matter. Hey, and I hope you enjoyed this too. You are loved, you are appreciated. Get me that five, that goal, just five. That's all we want here. That's all we want, nothing more. And if you can just have a great day, have a great Black History Month. Hope you had, hope you had a great Groundhog Day, because by the time you see this, it will not be Groundhog Day anymore. And hey, that's all from me. Got speed, and this potato is out. Peace. Actually, hold up. Let me let let me let the music in. Now, peace.